Hi, I'm Christy Louie, a Sacramento County Master Gardener. I'm going to show you how you can successfully grow your herbs in containers, affording your best culinary seasonings while saving you money. Container gardening is a great solution to help overcome space, light, and soil problems. Containers come in many choices of different materials, sizes, and shapes. Your selection should be based on the plants you'll be putting in them, as the size of the container will dictate the mature size of your herb. Before you purchase your container, make sure to check that they have good drainage holes, and this will help to prevent root rot. When planting your herbs, make sure to select a container that will become your herbs forever home. Once your herb is transferred from the nursery container, it can remain in its new container for its useful lifetime. No need to transfer again, just prune as needed. When planting herbs in containers, don't make the common mistake and use landscape soil. Use a potting mix to enhance the overall health and longevity of your herbs. Potting mixes are lightweight and are formulated to provide good drainage and aeration. It's important to place your herbs in a sunny spot. Herbs need at least five to six hours of sun daily. I like to group my herbs together under my tree. This provides for a few hours of shade during those hot Sacramento summers and also elevates humidity. Herbs in containers will need more fertilizer than herbs in the landscape, as the nutrients are flushed out with irrigation. Fertilize herbs once or twice per season, about four times a year, with low nitrogen fertilizer. Just be sure to water thoroughly before fertilizing. Both annual and perennial herbs need pruning during the growing season to promote new growth and shape the plant. Many annuals need pruning to remove flowers before they go to seed, which will signal to the plant that its life is over. Perennial herbs can be heavily pruned back in late winter after chance of frost is gone. This helps to revitalize an aging plant. Now let's look at just a few ways you can use herbs in your cooking. Time to get started growing and cooking with herbs.